Last year, we brought Korean street toast to London, and that led to us opening a Korean toast kiosk in the middle of central London. It is absolutely crazy what's happened. It's all been going on behind the scenes. We've sold like 3,000 toasts. There's been queues around the block. And it's even crazier that we haven't really talked to you guys like, about it. Like from the beginning, it's always been about the passion we have for sharing Korean culture, the passion we have for making videos and bringing those two things together. We really wanted to bring Korean street toast to London. We wanted more people to try it than we can introduce to in a single video. But through that experience, we learned that starting an actual restaurant is unbelievably complicated. So keeping it long term didn't really feel possible. It just seemed a ridiculous pipe dream. I mean, some of the people in that video actually suggested that why don't you do a food truck? A moving food truck that goes on tour. It's just takeaway, toast, toast, toast. It'd be cool to see okay. loads of people all over Britain in the middle of the countryside trying to give for the yeah. first time. That would be fun. Even that is really complicated. Where'd you get a food truck from? Yeah. But it just turns out that we had this opportunity to not get a food truck, but get a kiosk. A tiny, a tiny little, tiny kiosk. little <laughs> kiosk. Which I think originally was designed to sell like newspapers and stuff mm -hmm. out of. But the location of this kiosk was insane. All right, so for context, this is King's Cross Station. In there is platform nine and three quarters. Our kiosk is right this way. It's basically sandwiched between Harry Potter's platform nine and three quarters, exactly, yes. Google's offices. They're even building like an even bigger one right next yeah. to it. Samsung's UK flagship store. Central St. Martin's Art College. And Facebook has an office right there too. Well, we don't talk about that. Okay. <laughs> and here is Cold Drops Yard. There's a bunch of really nice food and restaurants and smack bang in the middle as you enter the square is Korean street toast, our kiosk. And for us, the last eight years on this channel has been about connecting British and Korean culture. So it was just an opportunity we couldn't turn down. You really. can't You pass get that. to be in the heart of things and continue what we've been doing on the channel, yeah. but like IRL, <laughs> in the middle of central London. It's nuts. Adam, what went through your head when we suggested actually doing this? <laughs> it feels so long ago. <laughs> yeah. It's 3,000 toasts ago. <laughs> <laughs> wow, 3,000. And street toast. Yeah. And right now it's just Wednesday to Saturday. Yeah, yeah. Four days a week. Yeah. For three hours a day. Yeah. And we've already sold 3,000 toasts. Yeah, yeah. It's like non stop. We can't make them any quicker. We expected it to be popular, but I guess what we didn't expect is to be this popular. Yeah, sorry for the wait, guys. Some people have had to wait a while. Some people have had to wait a while, but we've gotten a lot faster and okay. bought a bigger grill. Bought a bigger grill, nice. Even though there's not really long queues anymore, there's still never a quiet moment. There's never a moment when you not have at least one person waiting for a toast. We're just doing this week by week, thinking it was a cool way of yeah. basically giving Londoners a chance to try yeah. Korean street toast. And the feedback yeah. that we've been getting from people it's been so has been un yeah. like people who don't even know the channel, but are just in the area have become locals. I was just walking past and I remembered it was here and I was like, oh, maybe it's not open today. And yeah. then I walked past and it was and I was like, I have to get one. Nice. So I've been passing it basically every day. So yeah. I thought I'd give it a try. I mean, I've never heard of Korean street toast yeah. before. I just happened to be strolling around. I thought it'd be quite nice to try something I've never tried before. One of my uh, Korean friends told me about it. She told me it was created by a YouTube channel. That's us. This is That's the YouTube you, huh? channel, yeah. yeah. I want to Hi, me. Yeah, yeah, you're Maybe on Maybe she will see us. <laughs> <laughs> you're on it. One of my yeah. dad's mates was like, has Ollie opened a restaurant? Because yeah. his face is on the menu of a kiosk in King's I Cross. I love that. And we were in a restaurant in King's Cross. We said, oh, we actually just opened a little kiosk. Yeah. You know, just up the road. He was like, oh, yeah, Korean toast. Yeah, I've been there like three times. Yeah. We're like, okay. what? Harry Potter has gone to the park. But when we finished the trip, 해리포터도 있고 영국 남자 운영하는 토스터가 여기 있다고 봐가지고 가까워서. I follow your channel and I was very excited. I saw the British high schooler trying it. I was like, I really want to try it now. Uh, subscriber. Oh, oh yeah. thank you. So, yeah, we have not been on a holiday for about two years. Right, right. Really? So we made a point to come here and visit. 한국에서 먹었던 거랑 비슷했나요? 느낌이라야 되나? 바이브가 뭐 양배추 하신 거나? 음식 바이브. 단짠 조합이 딱 한국. 그 느낌 잘 잡았어요? 네. 네. 
제 생각엔 저희 빼고는 다 로컬이었던 것 같아서 잘 먹히고 있지 않나 <웃음> 맞아요 아마 위치도 잘 잡아서 그런지 만약에 학생들 타겟으로 하는 거면 UCL 근처 이런 데 와서 아 여기는 근데 건물이 하나잖아요 네. <웃음> You've got like builders who are building like the Google building yeah. You've got the local workers like fashion stores and restaurants Idris Elba just opened up a wine bar so the guy who oh, manages wow, that Oh wow, what, near here? Yeah, just really? over there So, Josh Yeah What's next? <laughs> Good question Seriously, I don't know, it'd be great to know <laughs> So We have managed to expand our team a little bit to bring in people to help us keep this Korean street toast kiosk running. I mean, it should be obvious, we're not there every day yeah. making the toast. We've got videos yeah. to make. We're also not really good at making toast, yeah. <laughs> as I mean, my wife pointed, <laughs> confidently yeah. pointed out. How was it? It was good. It wasn't as good as yours, obviously. You haven't even tried hers. How did... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? We recently did an interview with Mashable in the States. They asked, why are we not using ghost kitchens like KSI, The Sidemen, or Mr. Beast? They were like, it doesn't make any business <laughs> sense doing it this way. But we were like, that's the point. We're doing it because it's a passion project. That's yeah. always been what's motivated us. If we can actually keep a physical spot in the middle of central London that is representing really good Korean food that you can't find anywhere else in the UK, I'll just be, I'd be chuffed. It's like our be own thrilled. little Korean food embassy. <laughs> A diplomatic mission <laughs> in the middle of King's Cross. Yeah. If we want to keep this going, we really do need more help. And most importantly of all, we need people who share our passion. We really feel like a responsibility to represent Korean food well in London. But that's part of the reason that we need people who are really good at making Korean food. People who are really passionate about representing Korea in the UK. So if you know people, or if that is you, then contact us. Contact information is in the description of this video. And who knows what's next? You know, there's so many different types of Korean street food. We could switch up the menu every week. Who, I mean, make a, make a- Do what we want. It's make ours. a video, exactly. Honestly, even if it's like a Korean haimoni, if your haimoni is really good at making food, she somehow lives in the UK, and is looking to work Come with out us of retirement. to make really <laughs> authentic, good Korean food in the UK, please put us in touch with her. We can rename it, yeah. the Harmonies. <laughs> the Harmonies on that. Yes. <laughs> Genuinely, in the middle of London. It's really exciting. And even if we don't manage to expand our team and we can't keep this physical space open and all we get to do is keep making YouTube videos, I'm still gonna be so thankful. We're so happy to bring you guys along for the journey. All right. All right. All of them. Yogi Kaji. See you later. Annyeong.